welcome to the second leg of a huge international media tour to formally announce this magnificent fight, magnificent event, August 26th at Wroclaw, Poland at the Charchinsky Arena. The unified world heavyweight champion, the Ukrainian ring wizard, Oleksandr Rusik, defends his crown against the young, game, hungry, heavy-handed Daniel Dynamite Dubois. It will be live on TNT Sports box office here in the UK. And there's a lot of people at the table. You've probably clocked. There's a, a couple of surprises as well. Without further ado, I'm going to bring in Alex Krasik of K2 Promotions to talk to us a little bit about this event and introduced one of the surprises. Please, Alex. Thank you. Thank you, Dev. Uh, let me try to fix it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, this is from the bottom of my heart and our hearts. It's a great pleasure to see all of you here. Uh, we have already announced this fight officially, and now we are here in London to support the event. Uh, as Dev mentioned, there is one of the surprises that we see here in the table, Mr. Prince Nazim Hamed, an outstanding star of boxing, and his son, Adam, is making the pro debut in the undercard of Usyk Dubois. So I pass the floor to Mr. Nazim Hamed. Bismillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. Yeah, it gives me great pleasure to be here too. Uh, I'm, I can see my my old promoter, who's not old to me, Frank. I never said that. Uh, <laughs> it was amazing going through my career with Frank Warren, uh, and I really believed as one of the best or the best promoter. Um, but we've been given an amazing opportunity for Adam to be the core main event of this event uh, by Igis, um, the manager of Alexander Usyk. And I want to thank Igis and thank Usyk Promotions. And I just feel like that um, this is a big, big opportunity to showcase uh, my son's skills, that he's going to do that. He's very confident. He's been training a long time. I know your guys, it must have been a big surprise for your guys seeing us come through and on a huge card uh, very, very early in his career, his first debut. I'm a very, very proud father. Uh, I've always been very, very confident in myself and in the ability of my son. So I'm looking forward to Adam, you know, climbing through them ropes and not flipping over the top of them ropes. <laughs> uh, and, and just basically showing how good he is for me. Uh, he's a future uh, star in boxing. I really believe that. Inshallah, God willing. And uh, for me, it's, uh, it's going to be like a, a breath of fresh air. Um, I, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I just, I'm very thankful for this opportunity. I've got my beautiful wife and my son, Sammy and my son, Saul, here with us today. And um, they're going to be fighting too. Uh, Sammy's going to be turning professional this year too. And uh, my youngest son, Solomon Suleiman, Solomon the Magnificent, he's going to be an amateur fighter. So we've got a, a house full of lads fighting and, and who, you know, we don't know. There could be a little comeback in Saudi Arabia too. <laughs> <laughs> so look, it might be a little bit of pressure, but I'm going to put you on to my son, Adam, to say a few words. Uh, and say how he feels on his debut coming up. Adam, this is your first floor, actually, on such a big scale. 100%. If uh, I, uh... You, you're going to be broadcast live throughout the whole world, and uh, you're going to be broadcast here in the UK on TNT Sports Box Office. Tell us some, some thoughts on that. No, it's... Uh... 100% it's an amazing opportunity, definitely, for my debut. I'm, uh, I'm super excited. Thank you to everyone who's come out and, uh, and supporting. Um, yeah, I couldn't be more blessed, alhamdulillah. I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to getting out there and showcasing my skills now. I've been training 
for a long time. The only question I've been getting asked is, when you turn in pro, the only things that I've been getting commented on my social media is, are you going to actually fight on August 26th? You're going to see that. So I'm talking about. <laughs> Adam, these are, uh, if, if I may, Alex. Adam, these are, these are, these are huge, huge uh, boots to fill, huge footsteps to follow in. Um, can you do it? I've said it before and I say it again. Uh, I'm trying to fill my own boots. I'm trying to be the best version of me and uh, I will be able to do that for sure. I'm confident within myself and within my skills that, um, that inshallah, we're going to do big things in the sport. All right. Oh, and uh, Call me an event, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, a nice, uh, nice little surprise to start off. August 26th just got even better. Um, Alex, I don't know if you want to ask, uh, ask the guys for any final words. Ah, no final words, come on, we just started. <laughs> uh, uh, guys, we need, it's very important to mention our partners who are taking part in uh, actually in making this happen. So I want to to say thanks to Knockout Promotions by Andrzej Wasilewski, who is the, our Polish promoter, our co-promoter of the event, who helps us really, really much. Uh, I need to say uh, special thanks to one more partner of ours from Saudi Arabia, who is uh, Skill Challenge Promotions, represented by Prince Khalid. So uh, we, can't, we can't avoid our partner, Frank Warren and Queensbury Promotions, because uh, you know we've been negotiating for so long, and we even couldn't find the agreement. But at the end of the day, we had to go through the first bids, but finally we are here, and the fight is announced. So, uh, one more thing to mention is uh, the Onet.pl, who is our strategic media partner in Poland, and uh, ready to fight is something that every man from boxing has to experience on his own. This is a completely new approach to the strategy of boxing where one can earn money just by doing his day-to-day -day work. Dev. Okay, well, okay. Look, that's, that's everyone thanked. Um, Alex, tell me this, right? Let's talk about this fight in particular. It's a mandatory challenger here, Mr. Daniel Dubois, challenging for the unified three of the four belts out there. What sort of dangers does he bring on August 26th? First of all, the fight is happening in Poland, the country that became the home for millions of Ukrainians who moved there after the war started in Ukraine. The city of Wroclaw is the home city for more than 200,000 Ukrainians. The venue the Tarczynski Arena, uh, it's a bit unusual for an Englishman to hear arena when the stadium is meant. So it's 43,000 open air stadium, the soccer stadium uh, built specially for Euro 2012, where Vitaly Klitschko was facing Tomasz Adamak back in 2012, I suggest, or 2018. Uh, this fight is happening in Poland for many reasons, but the the biggest reason for that is that Usyk has not been fighting a home fight since 2015. And uh, we can't make it in Ukraine. Everyone knows the reason. But we want uh, to host him as the home fighter. And uh, that's why this fight is happening uh, in Wroclaw. Regarding the fight itself, uh, Daniel is the mandatory challenger of WBA. He was nominated to be the one, he's the current uh, champion of WBA, uh, where Usyk is the super champion. So it was unavoidable. They have to face each other. Hopefully 26th of August, they will collide in the ring. We all saw Daniel's uh, previous fight, which was uh, a big challenge for him, actually. Uh, no one expected it would be that hard for him to fight, so he... he uh, he got down three times, but he found determination and uh, he showed the heart of a lion in the fight. So uh, he, he turned the tide of the fight and he grabbed the victory from his opponent. 
So we are not uh, underestimating him. And uh, for Usyk, it's a real challenge, but he will tell on his own behalf. All right, well, let's bring in Hall of Fame boxing promoter Frank Warren. Frank, you, are, uh, you have been with Daniel Dubois since debut every step of the way, and now this is the date with destiny. August 26th, he challenges for those belts right next to you. Tell us how you're feeling heading into this one. Well, I know how, how I feel. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to Alex Higgis, the champ, Maz and Adam. It's good to see you again. Glad to see you too. I'm hoping... And I believe this is going to be Daniel's moment. I genuinely think it's going to be Daniel's moment. Um, he is, uh, as Alex said, he's the WBA, uh, sorry, WBO, um, uh, sorry, I'll get it right now. Yeah, WBA, WBA, yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> WBA, apologies, WBA champ. And we had an opportunity, if we wished, to have pulled him out of the fight and let him go ahead and fight somebody else. But we were not wanting to do that. He definitely didn't want to do it. He wanted the fight. And that's why we're in there. And I'm a big believer in there's moments and timing in boxing. And as I talked to the guys outside earlier, the best punches are all about timing. And the best matchmaking is all about timing. Ask Naz that. Undefeated definitely. with me. Undefeated. Most, de most definitely. Right. And I, I, Time means everything, baby. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So there we are. So we, I made, you know, I, was, uh, I helped a bit in Naz's career. And only a little bit. Only a little bit. <laughs> in finding the right opponents and the right fights at the right time, and he'd done the business in the ring. And I believe this is Daniel's time. You know, that last fight that uh, Alex mentioned, he was down three times, but two of, two of those, he didn't get knocked down. It was because of the damage that he had to his leg, which he had an operation afterwards. Um, but he showed, his, quite rightly, he showed a champion's heart. He got up and done what he had to do. And that's what he can do. And he's, you know, he's a young man. And I genuinely believe this is his moment in time. You know, I, I like to think I'll get it right most of the time. And I believe this time I'll be proved right that this guy on my left is going to win this fight. Frank, tell me this. We've, uh, we've seen a number of British fighters take on Alexander Usyk, Tony Bellew, Derek Chisora, most recently Anthony Joshua as well. He is 20 and 0. Nobody has beaten him yet as a pro. What is different about Daniel Dubois? You tell us. I think, I think this fight, I look at it in a different way to everybody else. You know, listen, I'm, a, I'm a massive boxing fan. I'm in the business, but I'm a massive boxing fan. And, you know, there's no doubt about it that Mr. Usyk sitting here now, there's no doubt he was. He's probably the best cruiserweight of this century. No doubt about it. And he's come up since. And he's had fights at, at heavyweight. So I, I look at, I watch the fights. I study the fights. I watched him fight in Derek Chisora. And in my opinion, and I've been wrong, as I say in the past, but in my opinion, you know, there was nothing in that fight for quite a while in that fight. It's the same Derek Chisora who fought Tyson Fury. I watched him fight AJ. And for me, AJ, the first fight, he was just, well, he didn't like he wanted to be there. The second fight, he'd done better. But, you know, the best man won, won in style on the night. The best man won. But AJ's not the fighter he was. This, for me, is a different... I'm looking at this different. This is Daniel's opportunity. He's fighting now what I consider to be a young, good, up-and-coming, strong heavyweight. This is a test for Alexandre. This is a test for him against Daniel. This is a guy who's not on the way down, not... A, a, a gatekeeper like Derek Chisora always fights well enough to come second. This is a real, real fight. This is a guy who's fighting a young, hungry fighter who's capable, who can punch, can jab, and he's faster than people. I'm reading some of the stuff online and so forth about his speed. He's fast. This is going to be a real, real test for Mr. Usyk, a big test for him, and we'll see. And I genuinely believe that my man will win. I genuinely believe that. As much as I believe when Danny Williams went to the States to fight Mike Tyson, that he would beat him like he would beat him. And he's a better fighter than Danny Williams. You know, I believe it like when Naz, when we went off to the garden, do you remember? With Kevin Kelly, they all thought he was going to do the business. Yeah. I knew he was going to do it, and he did it. Absolutely, like when... Not that young cowboy. When Joe, <laughs> Joe, when Joe, Joe Kalzaki fought against um, Jeff Luthor. 
Jeff Lacey. Jeff Lacey was a massive favourite going to fight. He'd done the business. And I think we're in one of the... I could go on a list of these guys, but this is a moment in time and it's going to happen. I'm telling you. You've got a fight on his hands. He knows that. He knows that better than anybody. And he knows he's got a fight on his hands. This is, this is going to be a great fight mm. while it lasts. It's going to be a great fight while it lasts. I like that. Well, we stated yeah. the case there for uh, Naz. I think you said you like that. You, you like what you hear. I, I, I like Frank's words, and, and, I, and I do truly believe this is a huge, huge fight. It's going to be an explosive fight. And it's, um, you know, it's two guys that really, really want to win and at the top of their game. And, I, and that's what I love. May the best man win. That's what we want to see. May the best Daniel win. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, look, the, we uh, promoters are all so confident. Well, there we go. Look, the, the case has been made for Daniel Dubois. I'm going to bring in Aegis Klimas from Team Usyk now. Aegis, you've done hundreds of these press conferences. You've been by Alexander's side as well for so long. Um, tell us your thoughts heading into this defence of his uh, unified crown. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. It's great pleasure to be here in the beautiful city of London. <clears throat> I wanted to thank our hotel guest, uh, Cafe, Cafe Royal Hotel, who is uh, putting that beautiful event in this, uh, in this press room where once Muhammad Ali himself was here doing his press conference. So it's a wow. historical, historical, wow. historical thing. I want to also to thank, which is uh, our promoter just missed, for the co-feature, we're going to have Prince Promotions, our partner. Oh, that's what you I'm talking that. about. <laughs> um, we were introduced to Daniel Dubois as a killer. But all that speed, all that power, he's going to come to knock Alexander out, the way I understand First of all, to knock somebody out, you need to land a punch. And it's not easy to catch, to catch that mice, mouse, you know, by, by, by the big cat sometimes. But uh, we will see. We will see. Very intrigued fight. We do not underestimate Daniel Dubois. We know he's big. He can punch. He has a reach. But my man seen that. All of that before, so it's not going to be news. Cool cat, Aegis. A cool cat. Go cat. Okay. Yeah, okay. The yeah. mouse. Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, Frank. Okay. I hope you're going to deliver what you're saying. <laughs> well, I'm not fighting. He's fighting. <laughs> <laughs> he's fighting. He I knows hope, he's got to do it. I hope, hope you can fighting, deliver he's do with it. interest. Yeah. He yeah. But you're talking, with you're talking like you're going to be fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've had a few fights in my time, so. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to take your time much. I want to thank everybody, media, putting that around the world, letting all the world know what's going to happen on August 26th. Do not forget, buy tickets or buy fight to see it. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, uh, Aegis Klimas. I think we've got confirmed now the third fight on the undercard is Frank Warren against Aegis Klimas, or so it would appear. Um, I can't give away the end. Big pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's, uh, but, but my ego not going to let to be the older man. I'm also not a young, but... Ouch. Listen, I'm like a fine wine. I'll save it for the night. Don't worry about it. We'll be there. Uh, let's bring in veteran trainer Don Charles, newly teamed up with uh, with Daniel Dubois. And, it, and you're no stranger to a British heavyweight taking on a Ukrainian world champion. You've been there. You've seen it all before. Tell us, uh, tell us about your relationship with Daniel. How's it all going? And how do you see this fight going? Well, your first question regarding uh, it's not the first time. This is actually the third time we've encountered somebody I've trained. We encountered a, a Ukrainian. Um, yeah, the first one was Vladimir Klitschko, if my memory serves me right, correct, in 2010. We trained, because it was an opportunity, Frank called me up, he said, look, although it was Derek's 16th professional fight, I, uh, an offer has been made by the K2 for your guy to take on uh, uh, Klitschko. 
And obviously I was a novice trainer at the time. I haven't encountered or experienced anything that magnitude. And uh, it's almost like it came two years prior to, if, if I said to you, we're gonna be ready to fight such a character. So we, Frank said, look, sleep on it, think about it, it's an opportunity, I'll let you guys make the decision. So we did sleep on it, I spoke to Derek's mother, I spoke to Derek, and I thought, look, we're, in, we're gonna have a go at this, can we beat this guy? I looked at Kalishko, yes we can. And we took the fight. Okay, I fast forward, because I have a tendency of making stories very, very, very long, <laughs> yeah? So basically, we trained, we went, went up to Fort Williams in uh, Scotland, uh, camp, trained so hard. We came back to England, flew to Mannheim in Germany to do the fight. I believe it was a 16,000 capacity venue and the stadium was sold out. The venue was sold out. Uh, we did the first press conference on a Monday. We did the uh, public workout on a Wednesday midweek. And I remember that uh, public workout very, very well. I hadn't done one in my life ever, ever. I was a novice coach, remember? So I, I didn't know what to do. I actually called Tunde, I said, what do you do at a public workout? Okay. I took my body kit, stupidly, I wear this, that's my signature, the body kit. Took my body kit, we showed too much. We showed too much, now I know we showed too much. And then the champion came and did his, I was disappointed, I, thought I was waiting to see something really spectacular. Obviously, their experience, we're not. They did very minimal, him, Klitschko, and the late, great Emmanuel Stewart. They did very, very little. I thought, oh my God, I was disappointed because I really wanted to learn, I wanted to see. Anyway, fast forward, got back to the hotel that evening, Frank called me, he said, Don, I said, yes, Frank. He said, I've got some bad news. I thought, what kind of bad news? He said, he's pulled out. I said, who's pulled out, Frank? He said to me, Vladimir has pulled out. I said, no, 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 Frank. He can't pull out. You're Frank Warren. Make it happen. Make it happen, Frank. He can't pull out. He said, well, young man, it's a voluntary uh, defense. It's not mandatory. Fast forward, we were put on the plane. We got back to England, and apparently it was supposed to be rescheduled. Mr. David Hay started the brilliant salesman he is. Ba ba ba. Derek said, bum, why are you fighting him? Ba, ba. Next minute he hijacked the fight. Okay, and we all saw what happened with David Hay. Okay, and v Vladimir Klitschko. Fast forward, two years later, uh, Vitaly stepped in his bigger brother because they realized that uh, Derek would have beaten Vladimir Klitschko, in my opinion. We fought Klitschko, Vitaly Klitschko, the stronger one of the two. Everybody said we're going to get knocked out in two rounds. I said no such thing will happen. Derek, we didn't win the fight, we got awarded four rounds in Germany and Klitschko doesn't drop a round, inspiring, never mind him fighting. Derek Chitora gave him probably the hardest fight in his latter career, okay? I believe he had one more fight after that, Vitaly, against uh, Manu Shah, and he retired. Fast forward. Now, I'll, I will say this, yeah? The great late Manu Stewart spoke to me 2013. He got wind, he caught wind that I was training Anthony Joshua. This is not public knowledge, by the way. This is probably the first time I've said it publicly, yeah? I trained Anthony Joshua for five whole years during the amateurs. Okay, therefore, he caught wind that I was involved. A mutual friend introduced us. We had a 45 minute conversation on the phone. He told me that he pulled Vladimir out. When he saw us in the public workout, he saw that we were, Derek was all wrong for his guy and you guys were too hungry. Okay, so he pulled it. Now the reason I'm gonna conclude on that is that this is the third Ukrainian guy we're going to the person I'm training is going to fight. And all I plead with Mr. Yusek, this is a mandatory, please turn up on the 26th, because you're going to lose your title. So this young gun, young man, young hungry, we are hungry, I'm a starving, I'm the same hunger as when I first started. So I'll stop right there. Over to Mr. Starving. Oh, it's a... Sorry, one last, one last word, right? Listen, one last word, please. This, you can hear, you can hear my voice, is the, the passion for 20 years of passion. 
and God yeah. delivered this young man here. This is a soldier that is going to cross the line to go to the promised land. I promise I'm not just dreaming. We're going to do the work that backs my speech, my going to do the work. You can hear it in my voice. I'm yeah. trembling. Cannot wait. Brilliant. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Don Charles. Well, let's, let's talk to that, that young man who just went, yeah, yeah, at the very end there. Daniel, let's bring you in. You are the mandatory challenger here. This is your date with destiny. The first thing I'm going to ask you, every time I go on social media, every time I watch a YouTube video, People are saying the same thing. They're saying Daniel Dubois is not ready. Let me ask you this right now, live on this stream in front of all these people. Are you ready? 100% I'm ready. He was born ready. 100% I'm ready. You know, we're ready to rumble. You know, this is it. You know, bring them titles back home. Bring them belts. Here they are. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Daniel, when you look over at all of those belts there? They're coming with me, you know, it's, it's my time. It's definitely my time, you know. Uzik's been a great champion. And um, as I said before, everything with the beginning has to have an end. You said that again, brother. He's always got to go. You said to me, uh, you said to me, we just did an interview a few minutes ago. You said you can't, you can't get knocked about by this old man. Is, is your youth a factor in all of this? Is that what you're thinking? Are you seeing him as an old man? You've just got to get out of the way. Is that what it is, Daniel? No, well, I've just got to uh, outmaneuver him and everything. You know, I'm younger, I'm stronger, and you know, I've just got to release it all. You know, unleash hell on this guy. I said to Frank earlier. So many fighters have tried against Alexander Usyk. He's 20 and 0. He's got a collection of British fighters on his resume as well, including Anthony Joshua, including Derek Chisora, Tony Bellew. What's so different about Daniel Dynamite Dubois? Why are you the man to defeat him? I was born for it, you know. Um, you know everything that's led to me getting here, and, you know, getting this opportunity. I'm just, you know, I'm different, and you guys are going to see that I'm different. First time in your career, Daniel, that you'll actually be an underdog in a fight as well. You've been favourite in every fight so far in your career. What does that do to you? Um, you know, the bookies can say whatever they want. You know, um, it's no pressure for me. You know, you know, no more. You know, you know, media pressure, whatever, any of that stuff. I never listen to it anyway. But come this time, I'm going to be 100% ready on him to take them belts away. Do you believe if you hurt Alexander Usyk on August 26th, you can finish him? What do you think? I'm definitely 100% going to do Ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Ask Usyk. Well, let's ask Alexander Usyk. Thank you, Daniel. And feel free, to, uh, feel free to keep chatting if you hear something you don't like. Let's bring in the unified champion, Alexander Usyk. Uh, Alexander... You've just heard from Daniel Dubois there. I hope Alex has been uh, telling you what's been said. But he very much is a challenger that believes in himself. Tell us your thoughts heading into August 26th. Hello, everybody, people. Трохи спробую поговорити. I'll try to speak. Там за берегом стелиться чорний туман, вітер знову гарну звістку нам принесе. Ми зламали вже саме останній кайдан, ворог хоче забрати у нас геть усе. Він спроможен завжди, лиш на підлий обман. Біль та смерть він за віком несе, але нас не зламати. Це наш вічний стан. В наших жилах кров всіх тих незламних тіче. Дякую. Игорь, could you please translate? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was a poem on Ukrainian, which needs uh, some certain time to be translated. It's about the enemies who are going to be destroyed, and the victory will be at place, just in short. Two words, please. I'm very happy to see I'm very happy to see you all people. Thank you so much, but I'm very hungry. I'm very, very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so are we. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Alexander, I understand you're hungry. I appreciate that. So We're starving. On. Well, yeah, Don Charles is hungrier. I'm Daniel... starving, Tr seriously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, what do you think of your, uh, your challenger, Alexander? What, what do you make of him? Do you rate him as a fighter? 
А що ти думаєш про свого опонента? Ти його як боксера, де б ти його? Добре дуже думаю про свого опонента. Респект його команді, йому особисто. Він зробив свій шлях, він дійшов до того моменту, що він претендент. Дуже добре. Побачимось 26-го. Балакать багато не будемо, ребята. Я думаю, дуже дуже мій опонент. Він гарний людина, гарний людина, гарний атлет. He came to the position of the mandatory challenger, so he deserves it. Uh, all the respect for him, for his team, for people around him. But let's stop talking much. Let's see each other on August 26th. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, well, let's, yeah. uh, nice let's, let's, let's keep, let's keep that short. Fighting talk, baby. That's fighting talk. <laughs> um. <laughs> I like that, baby. That's fighting talk. <laughs> Alexander, do you have a message for Daniel Dubois, who is sat right here? Anything you want to tell him ahead of August 26th before you go and eat? message. I am the message myself. Daniel, you're right of response. He said, I am the message, my son. Myself. Oh, myself. Go on. What are you saying, Dan? I didn't hear what you asked. Don't say it. You wrote the message. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. There we have it. There we have it. I'll hand over to, uh, to the promoters for the final word here. Alex, I'm sure you've got some detail about when tickets go on sale, etc. Please give us your, uh, your closing thoughts. That's an important message because the question number one for the last, I don't know, seven days was where the tickets go on sale. The pre-sale starts tomorrow, noon, London time. Make sure you prepare yourself to buy the tickets. It's very important. The ticket's gonna be on e-billet. You see it on the backdrop, .com or .pl. Uh, and you, you will get the special message that the tickets are already on sale. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We are about probably to experience the thrilling moment of the face-off. Frank, any final word before the face-off? If you can't get a ticket, don't forget TNT box office. This is a real good fight. This is an historical fight. And I'm telling you, at the end of the day, it's going to be a great victory oh, for this God. man on my left. It's going to be phenomenal. Well, there you have it. Do not miss it. These guys are going to go face to face now. It's August 26th. It's TNT Sports Box Office Unified World Heavyweight Championships on the line. Alexander Rusik against Daniel Dubois. Stick around for the face-off.